Hello from 4 chapter 3 video number 13 and your notes it should be page number 11 this evening okay oh page number 12 this evening okay so now we're going to start another experiment that going to find out the empirical formula for magnesium oxide and for this experiment what I can say again important very important uh, most of the time when you go exam, the exam question will be about this experiment and another experiment after this. Okay, so start with yourself. So, to determine the empirical formula of magnesium oxide, or uh, what is mean by magnesium? Magnesium is a reactive matter. It is a reactive So your notes look like this. Okay, in the notes, can see like this. We have to find magnesium oxide the empirical formula. I mean, when magnesium and oxygen join together, how many magnesium, how many oxygen join together? And remember, magnesium is a reactive matter. When I teaching experiment, this is the first time. I'm not going to read one sentence by one sentence. I will tell you the whole story. And after this, you know everything. You know everything. So, time not always read, always read. You But for me, I will let you understand. So, experiment. Look at me. Time, can watch you can. Okay. You have to find M magnesium oxide the empirical formula. Okay. So, how is the experiment? Can you just the that the picture? Then I will tell my story. Okay. Prepare a cushy bar, a little small small bar, together with the leads. Okay, prepare a cushy bar together with the leads. I will have a guy, yeah, yeah, you guy it. And now wake it, not to turn, record the mass, but the dilution, zero, it up. So the mass of the cushy bar with the leads or with the cover, and record the mass, but the dilution, zero, it up. Okay. And next. And now, by using a metal rose, I measure 5 cm of magnesium ribbon. Well, then, 5 cm the magnesium ribbon, and I cut the magnesium ribbon using the same paper. Yung sa zi na. I send the paper on the magnesium ribbon. Why? Why so much? Yung mota mota na to remove the oxide on the magnesium. But magnesium piao means that the oxide na gu diao. Okay, qing chu diao. Okay. And now I twist the magnesium ribbon, what join ta, join ta, and put into the cushy bar, but ta fang jin cushy bar ribbon, and I wake it when I turn. Okay, so the mass of the cushy bar with the cover with the magnesium, the mass is B la, ta de zi liang si B. Okay, next. So everything is ready. I start the Bunsen burner. I heating the magnesium ribbon. Okay, when I heating the magnesium ribbons, what happens? Okay. During the heating process, I open the cover and close the cover. I open the cover and close the cover occasionally. Naga kai na wa kai liu guan, kai liu guan, guan liu kai, kai liu guan. So why I open and close the cover again and again? Why so I just kai liu guan, just kai liu guan na? Simple to let in the oxygen, 要给氧气跑进来 So the oxygen can combine chemically with the magnesium to become magnesium oxide. Yao get oxygen, then the bit of magnesium, jie he, bit of magnesium oxide. So I open the cover. What kind of the guy? Just this guy, yin yin. Okay. But why cross? Just open now. Why you cross? Simple. When magnesium join together with oxygen, become magnesium oxide. Under the very high temperature, some of them will be in the gas forms. I mean, you see, is the heat here, right? So I cross it to prevent the white color magnesium oxide to escape from our experiment. 防止白色的 magnesium oxide 可能温度高，然后它它是气体啊，它跑掉去啊。So I cross it， 我盖它起来。To prevent the magnesium oxide escape from our experiment， 防止它跑掉去。Okay， so I cross。So after a while， magnesium now change to white in color， 它可能变成白色白色。Or another meaning， it rejoin together with the oxygen to become magnesium oxide。Okay， so now I stop my Bunsen burner。I cool it down. 听好啊，不要乱乱来啊。I cool it down. 我给它冷，然后拿去称。OK， 哎、欸、，twelve grams， 十二 gram。So this is the first time. 我给它冷，我拿去称，十二 gram。OK， but I repeat the heating again. For a while, 
And after a while, I off the Bunsen burner. I cool it down, get it learn. I wake it for the second time. What you say, Nancy Chen? 12.5, Aha. By another meaning, for the first time, magnesium is not 100% react with oxygen. So I hit it for the second time. It becomes 12.5. Okay, and then don't record the data. I repeat the heating process. Okay, cool it down, get to learn, and then wake it. It turns 12.5, 12 Okay, so because 12.5, 12.5, the mass cannot increase anymore. Or another meaning, magnesium is completely reacted with the oxygen. Now, the magnesium is 100% the oxygen. So, this is a time for me to record my data. 这时候才是我record data的时候 And remember, on your notes, 在你的notes, uh, okay, somewhere around your diagram here Copy one sentence, that's very important 抄一句非常重要的话 来, The heating, cooling, and the wasting process are repeated until a constant mass is obtained 烧它给它冷了几层烧它给它冷了几层直到它的质量不变为止 Why? To confirm the complete reaction between magnesium and oxygen, you magnesium and okay? So now everything is ready. I record my data. What you do data? Finish the experiment. And now it's the time for me to get the empirical formula. How? Okay, today what is the mass of the magnesium? Today I the magnesium is how much? Simple. Using the B minus the A, you check first. Nah, you just bring the ma, you just bring the B, 减掉 A, 你就是 magnesium 啊. So using the B minus the A. Oxygen, oxygen 啊, nah, using the C minus the B. 用 magnesium oxide 减掉那个 magnesium 就是 oxygen 吗? Using the C minus the B 啦. Okay. And now with the mass, mass, okay, over the molar mass, molar mass. Now you get the number of mole, you just add down number of mole, and change the number of mole into the simplest ratio, but number of mole becomes the most simple ratio, right? And you get the empirical formula of the magnesium oxide. You just find the magnesium oxide the empirical formula. Okay, so this is the experiment. This is our experiment. Is it difficult? No. Understand? Sure. It should be very clear. You want to read? It's not like this. 直到点头点头就算了的 ，OK。So how is the experiment? We maybe have a look. 我们看看，真的。Okay, how to determine the empirical formula of magnesium oxide? Let's carry out the experiment with a crucible and its lid. ribbon with sandpaper. This is to remove the oxide layer on its surface. Then, coil the ribbon and place it in the crucible. Then, weight the crucible with, with its lid and the container. Heat the crucible strongly. When the magnesium start to burn, cover the crucible with its lid. Raise the lid at intervals. When the burning is complete, remove the lid and heat the crucible for one minute. The crucible with its lid on is allowed to cool to room temperature. The crucible with its lid and contain a wave again. Okay, so this is the experiment. Okay.
And now fill the blank in the Dongxi and set the experiments. So today our experiment, how can we determine the empirical formula of magnesium oxide? So what is your manipulated variable? Cao Zhong Xing Ping Su Si Samana. I prepare magnesium. Responding variable, I hit the magnesium in the air. Finally, I want to know the mass of the magnesium oxide. So the mass of the magnesium oxide form, what must be constant? Something must be constant. Air, 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 magnesium ribbon, green magnesium ribbons. Okay. And hypothesis, just uh, tell me answer. Okay. But the answer, you can tell the empirical formula of the magnesium oxide can be determined by finding the ratio of the number of more magnesium which combined with the number of more of the oxygens. And for this type of hypothesis, actually it's not very important. Change the hypothesis is something you see a mil see yang the why? Then guy bang put down the paper tree, but don't don't worry, Chao Song you can do it. Really, really. Okay. Okay, all this copy now. This one you already have. See you in the next video for another experiment. Still about empirical formula, but another type of experiment. Another type of experiment. Okay, so see you. Bye bye.